This is 1994 Moon Glow Quart in Vista 92081. Going to do a panorama of the neighborhood. It's on a cul-de-sac here on the golf course. Uh, just for information, this is in the Shadow Ridge area of Vista. It's kind of like Vista is a big place, and this is the, really the only area where I look. The other places are a little bit too gritty, I think. Um, although I am a couple places in Vista. But not in this area. Um, yeah, I don't think this place is great, but I'm going to give you a look-see just so <clears throat> uh, you can see what's going on inside. Uh, it's about 1,900 square feet. The house, I think the list price is, I don't I have to look, 615K, 649K, I don't know. Uh, yeah, views of the golf course, but it's a bit dated inside, so I think it's going to take too much updating to uh, for it to be good at this price. Um, although this would be a good renter once we get it up to date. So, uh, first of all, those garage doors I don't love. You can see those garage doors. That's all wood. They're old. You can see, like, those garage doors are the next-door neighbors. And every other house, well, most of the other houses in this cul-de-sac have been updated. Um, to, like, those are probably aluminum doors. Well, that's an old wood door. So you'd want to replace that because that's a, a kind of an annoying accident waiting to happen. And you don't want to wait for the garage door to break. Uh, I don't believe there's AC in this place. Now... Um, I don't know how hot this place is going to get because it's really uh, shaded over on the golf course side, but I imagine the sun, it, when it moves into the west, it could heat up those bedrooms upstairs at night, so probably going to want AC in here. Uh, none of the windows are upgraded. They're all original single-pane aluminum. So you walk in. Nice walk right here. You walk in, and the carpet, I mean, I don't know if that's savable or not. With the, the, this color, those stains there, it would need to be stretched anyway. Probably all this would get replaced and going up the stairs as well. So flooring is a big issue. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not convinced on the floor plan. So you have a half a bath down here. So here's your half bath, bigger than your normal half bath. Um, and the master's on the first floor which people do like, but again, the flooring in here, I would rip out all this carpet and put some other stuff in there. Um, the, uh, the, the carpeting goes right back into the, into the master here, the master bath. So, uh, yeah, I hate the flooring, and we'd update that, so, I mean, give or take, depending on what we put in here. Mm, ten grand for the flooring, give it. Yeah, it's gonna be more than five. It's probably gonna be less than ten, but we'll leave it at that. Uh, so the, the, your formal living room here, and I'll take you out back in a second. I should show you the kitchen first. So I'm having difficulty finding. Uh, so the kitchen is off to the side over here. Um, it's walled off. It's not very open, so you do have this, uh, you know, breakfast nook area over here, which makes it quite spacious. You got the older tile on here, so you'd probably update that. Spruce up the cabinets. Um, this kind of standalone island that they put in is is all right, but all these cabinets need to be refinished. Mm, a thousand, two thousand for that. You can see this tile. You know, it's. It's passable, but you probably want to update that. You do get lots of natural light in here. Uh, I'm going to take you around. The house does feel more spacious than uh, than the square footage indicates, so that's good. So this is what, uh, you know, the good part is, like, you're out here. You can see you're overlooking the golf course right there. But, you know, there's, like, no grass here or anything. It doesn't look really... There's not, you could easily put grass in here, I would think. There's irrigation there. And you could put grass in here. It should grow because it doesn't get a ton of sunlight. So just water it a little bit and it'll grow. But they just didn't really see the reason to, I guess. Or I'll bet you it was weedy back here. And they, they kind of cleaned this up to put it for sale. Uh, this thing, uh, as mentioned before, you can see that wood starting to split there. Probably going to have issues with termite. You got the stucco coming apart there. So... 
Uh, the bones of the house are good, but for the price, I think that's too much updating. All right, I'm just going to go upstairs and show you real quick three bedrooms and a bath. And we're going to be done with this one. Uh, don't like the looks of that. See that crack coming through the wall there? That's probably not ideal. Um, I'm not sure if any of this carpet is salvageable or not. So here's one bedroom. Bang. Has a uh, balcony over there. Full bath for the upstairs. It looks all right. And number three, see none of these windows are up there. I'll just point these. I pointed out these windows before, but these are your old school single pane aluminum windows, and um, just not great. So this this place is overpriced. They might get what they're asking for it because the market's like it is, but I think this place will go lower. So. Uh, this is only something we want to buy if we want to do a lot of work, which we don't really want to do. We don't mind updating stuff, but we don't want to have to do all the work that's in here. So that's it. Off to the next one.